Here's an instrument that I've invented. I've tried to make it the easiest instrument on earth. Have you ever tried to learn an instrument and found that it was really hard? Or it took a lot longer to learn how to play anything than you thought? Or maybe you learned as a kid but then stopped and then ever since you haven't picked it up again or whenever you tried you realized that you'd forgotten everything and it was very easy to forget? I think that's stupid. And I think that you're right, that it is too hard. So I made something really easy. The red notes are C. If you don't know what C is, look it up, you're on YouTube. Boom, 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 boom. It's like the default note. By the way, if it's the default note, why did they name it C? If it's like the default note, it should be A. What, what the, ugh. Anyway, here's the color code for what each note is on this thing, right? You remember it? Good, never forget. So, these four, uh, these five, in this row, you see, they're all the same. There's lots of the same note. See, all these blue ones here are the same as well. And all of these are the same. But, there's octaves this way, right? So don't worry about the fact that there's a lot of buttons. The idea is that the complexity is built into this so that it's easy to play in your head. So, major. That's what a major chord looks like. And it looks like that everywhere. This shape with my hand is the major shape. Put it here, put it here, put it here. Doesn't matter. You now know every major chord. Didn't have to learn any other tricky things, there's no exceptions. That's the major chord shape, you play that and you get a major chord. Also, if you want a seventh, just chuck this one on top here. Good, every major seventh chord too. Now let's do minor. This is major, here is minor. You move the middle finger across here. And then chuck on a seventh for good measure. Or don't, whatever you like. Hey look, you've just learned every minor, every major, and every seventh chord. And it took you what, 20 seconds? Congratulations. Now, let's go on to scales. Here's the major scale. You start from anywhere, and you make this little pattern. Once you do that, you now know every major scale. Usually on piano, you have to learn, oh, in this scale, and when you start on this key, then the, this black note it counts, and then this one doesn't, and it's just a thousand different things to remember, and it's ridiculous. So, pick a note, let's go with this one, and you make this shape. That's up, up, across, up, 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 across. It works from anywhere. Bam! Now, let's try the harmonica minor, which is my favorite for sure. That looks like this. So when I have this thing built, I'll have these different paths engraved on it somewhere, so you don't even have to remember them. They'll just be written right there. And there's little chord shapes as well, of course. So, yeah, harmonic minor. Bam! You now know how to play pretty much every song you've ever heard.